I'm making a delicious creamy soup with cauliflower, sweet pears and English blue cheese, topped off with some crunchy walnuts. Now for the base of the soup, I just need to put a pan on the heat. So just while that pan heats up, I'm going to chop up some celery. Make sure it's nice and finely chopped, so it sweats down quickly. Right, so when the pan's hot, just add in some butter. And then as soon as that starts to foam, you can add in shallots. And then the celery. And then they just need to sweat down just for a few minutes. We've got cauliflower here. And just take the bottom section off. Just take off all of the outer leaves on the cauliflower. The lovely thing about using cauliflower in soup is that you can cook it until it's completely soft and then really blend it. It has a really lovely creamy texture. Work your way around taking the florets off and then any larger florets just cut them in half just so it all cooks evenly. And then for the pears, I'm using conference pears which have got a really lovely texture and flavour and will blend up really nice and smooth. But any good English pear will work well in this. You need to core the pears. The best way to do it really, just quarter them and then run a sharp knife along just to get rid of those cores. Just keep an eye on the shallots and celery. Make sure they're just softening nicely without taking on any colour. Chop the pears fairly roughly because they'll cook down a bit quicker and go nice and soft, so don't worry too much about them. As soon as the shallots and celery are soft, Go straight in with the cauliflower and the pears. Give it a stir and then pour over your vegetable stock. That just needs to simmer away for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cauliflower is completely soft. To top off the soup, I've got these lovely crunchy walnuts. And the way I've made these is really simple. You just take a little bit of salt and sugar, pound it up in a pestle and mortar and sprinkle it over the nuts and then just bake them in the oven until they're really nice and crisp. After about 20 minutes, that cauliflower is going to be lovely and soft. And just to test, take a sharp knife and it should just run through with no resistance. Now we can start ramping up the flavour. So just for a little bit of extra creaminess and a bit of sharpness, some creme fraiche, stir that in. And then some blue cheese, which for me really makes this dish. Now I'm using Stilton, but any good strong crumbly blue cheese will work really nicely. I'm just going to save back a few bits just for garnish to crumble over the end at the top. And then some parsley. Roughly chop it, because I'm going to be blending the soup anyway, so it doesn't have to be too fine. And in that goes. So that soup is now ready. Just bring it off the heat, take a stick blender, and really blend it until it's silky smooth. It smells great, really earthy from the cauliflower, and then that lovely tang from the blue cheese. So just ladle in some of that soup. And then finish it off with a few of these walnuts, just crumbled over the top. A few bits of blue cheese, just dotted over the surface and they're gonna to start to melt in. And then finally, a bit of parsley for just a little bit of freshness at the end. And then it's ready to serve. Simple, delicious, and really comforting. My cauliflower pear and blue cheese soup.